Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Witches on the Moon. My name is Dia, aka Ori, of OreoOasis.com. And my day is normally Thursday, but I already missed one week. I didn't want a whole another full week go by, and I missed another one. Um, this week's topic was talking about spiritual influences. Now, to get right into it, to me, we're always influenced by some type of um, spiritual whatever whether be whether you want to call it entity deity ancestor muse um demigod angels whatever you want to call them i believe we're always being influenced and i'm sorry just this here work of my nerves <laughs> i believe we're always be I believe we're always being influenced. And excuse me, here's things in the background. We're shutting it down for the night, but I did want to get this video done before the week goes by and I completely forget this week. No, I couldn't. I didn't want to do that. So, um, now, as far as spiritual influence, I believe we're always influenced spirit some in some way. Um, like, say, if you're talking with ancestors, you may be influenced to make a certain meal because you either feel them around you or you're thinking about them. So you may be influenced to make a certain meal, play a certain game, sing a certain song, things like that. Um, when a muse comes by, and you may not know what a muse is, so look it up. When a muse comes by, you know to get inspiration, so you want to create something. Whether it be, um, most of the time it's art, some form of music, or actual artwork, or writing a book. It's most of the time it's in the arts. Well, actually, everything's art when you think about it. But you, you get inspired to create stuff. Um, there are also, to, oh, my nails is dirty. Mm -mm -mm. My bad. There are also um, other things of spiritual influences when um, something that's totally out of character for you, you get the thought to do it. That's also a spiritual influence. Now, spiritual influences can be good or they can be bad. But the good thing is, is that if you do what you're supposed to do, you, um, you know, you're not always under the influence. You're not always... Um, just totally tired. If you do the things to do to keep you spiritually up, their influence is more of a suggestion than more of a I have to do it, more of a feeling. So you don't always have to go with the um, what you're being influenced to do. Now, I will say sometimes their influence is a precaution. Like they may tell you to take this. Where am I looking at? I think I'm looking at, uh, yeah. They may say to take this left as opposed to this right. And by you taking it left, you may have missed a whole car accident and things like that. So sometimes they are influencing you. Or their influence does have, um, if you don't listen, sometimes it does have um, consequences. That's the word I'm thinking of. But yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. Um, also, as far as spiritual influences, you know, actually, no, I don't know where I was going with that. Not at all. <laughs> I have no clue where I was going with that one. But yeah, um, so spiritual influences. Uh, you know what? I might as well do a two for in this. The other one was talking about deities, and um, the one that I messed with was talking about deities. So, as far as deities, there are a bunch of them, right? And um, sometimes, sometimes you seek them out, sometimes they call to you. And don't ask me what I'm looking at. I don't really know. I'm looking at the ceiling, but there ain't nothing up there. Excuse me. Sometimes you call to them, sometimes they call to you. But um, normally the deities are right for you. Sometimes um, you won't know them right off the bat. But once you start working with them or researching them, you'll st most of the time when you start working with them, because I, I had a few where I was like, even after I researched them, I was like, mm, I don't know about this. But once I, you know, start working with them little by little, I start to see the results. I see, okay, okay, why I'm supposed to be working with this deity, whatever. Um, I will say though, before you start working with deities, make sure the deities are within the tradition that you're doing. Um, if not, make sure you know how to separate the work from your traditional work, because uh, that can cause hella problems. Um, I ain't trying to get nobody jacked up. So the caution is, <laughs> when you're working with deities, make sure you know which tradition they're coming from and make sure they work with your tradition otherwise learn how to separate the works um other than that and excuse me if i'm not talking loud enough like i said it's late at night we're shutting it down i know i have neighbors who get up early in the morning so they're already asleep so i don't want to be real loud with the windows open um i think that's it pretty much yeah i think that's it pretty much so yeah again i just wanted to touch on this topic real lightly 
um, before I forget and another week go by. I do not want another week to go by. I had enough weeks that I missed this season. I ain't trying to do that no more. Mm -mm. No more. Okay, guys, so don't forget to comment, rate, and if you haven't done it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to watch everybody's videos, and mwah, peace.